Alright everyone, 200 episodes. This is the 200th episode of this series. Uh, first, I just want to say thank you to all of you who have supported this series, um, particularly on the channel. Um, just thank you so much. It means so much to me that so many of you would come in and maybe have discovered me because of this series. I'm um, just having a lot of fun playing this game, bringing this to you, and sharing a lot of memories, having a lot of good chats, and just uh, just have a lot of fun. That's what it's all about, meeting some cool people, and you know, I'm so happy to bring this series to you and keep it going. Maybe for 200 more, who knows? Um, who knows how long this one will go, but I never thought it would get to this point. Um, really, when I started it, I thought I didn't even know I would make 100, let alone 200, so... Um, just thank you so much, and uh, I really hope that you're all doing well and getting ready for these holidays coming up. Um, now, with that said, um, let me bring up chat here in case somebody stops in. And thank you for all like the likes and the, the subscriptions on YouTube and the follows on Twitch and the great comments you guys leave me. It means a lot. Um, so we have a new pack out, and it's the, uh, the Stay Frosty pack, as we know. And apologies again, guys. As I always say this, you're going to hear some construction in the background. There's nothing I could do about it uh, right now until, you know, it's pretty much they're done building. Um, but they're out there almost every day trying to get that done, and they're making actually really good progress, so we'll see. Um, but anyways, let's read about this as we just booted up the game, updated it. Of course, the lethal shade of winter, as the nights grow longer, the darkness seems to grow deeper and more terrifying. For many of us, this provides a fine excuse to seek out the warm glow of a fire, or at least a light bulb. However, if you're the type who faces danger with bravado, reveling in every surge of adrenaline, well, this update is most especially dedicated to you, my friend. Read on if you dare. So we know that that's a warning for this upcoming uh, lethal zone, uh, as if... The uh, Nightmare Zone isn't tough enough for me. Anyways, um, be careful what you wish for. For months we've heard you, your plaintive cries. Nightmare Zones aren't hard enough. We need real challenge. Uh, message received. The new Ultra Hardcore Difficulty Mode presents the very toughest version of State of K2 that you've ever seen. Zombies are even more dangerous. Resources and weapons are even harder to find. Blood Plague kills you even faster than in Nightmare. Whew. Oh, do we mention all the freaks have Blood Plague? Great. So we're going to have those freak ferals, you know. We kind of mentioned this in the last episode, but this is all the details. Um, so you can tell us about the sliders. We can... Action slider, community slider. kind of tells you about how they work. Blood plate can kill in five minutes or less. Uh, with the community slider... Uh, weapon repairs cost more, it's too many base actions. There's a lot of stuff that's going to be... Nightmare action now includes Plague Screamers and Plague Bloaters, which were from the um, the Heartland DLC that we played a long time ago. So that's really cool, the Plague Screamers, Plague Bloaters. Oh my gosh, they tweaked the attacks of Plague Screamers and Plague Bloaters to avoid one-shot kills of your survivors, okay. Crossbows now appear less often at map settings of Dread and Higher in response to player concerns that they were showing up too frequently. Okay, well we've collected a lot of crossbows so I think I'm okay with that. So there we go. Um, it's been optimized for the Series X and uh, S. Which I don't have one of those systems, so we don't need to worry about that. That's pretty cool. Um, don't worry, Stay Frosty. Here's a Stay Frosty pack now. The Stay Frosty pack includes 11 bounties plus 4 firearms you can find by scavenging. All 15 items are brand new to the game. Cold Turkey. Bounty on Midnight Solstice, a lightweight survivalist crossbow. I like my crossbows, I might have to go after that. D bar, D bartini. What else we got there? These are all the weapons Samurai, SMG. There's a lot of new weapons. Snow Fox, top line submachine gun from HB. 
featuring rapid fire options and quick reloads, winterized and reinforced with an extended magazine to boot, found by scavenging. Tactical walking stick. A Yukon Pathbreaker. Survival axe isn't the fanciest tool in your arsenal, but it'll probably save your life one day. Bounty item. Maintenance bench. Install this facility mod and spend a few parts to render your weapons immune to durability loss for a while. That's new. That's a bounty item. That's like a it's a new facility mod. Oh my. Winter camo tactical uniform, which you guys will see. I think it's kind of showing in the uh, the thumbnail for this video on YouTube. Um, I got a picture of that. Um, this is the most for, mostly for style, but even though it's not snowing, you'll still look cool wearing it. So the winter camo tactical uniform. It's a bounty item. The boonie hat. Part of that. World War II pack is gone. So there we go. Those are all the notes, really, guys. Um, and hey, how you doing, Paprika man? Good to see you again. Um, yeah, actually, that's a good question about the he asked about the lethal zone. Um, guys, regarding the lethal zone, I will not be playing it right away. As with like the nightmare zone, I'm gonna work my way to it. Um, I don't think I'm ready for the lethal zone. I mean, I've lost a few people already in the nightmare zone, so. Um, definitely not going to try it yet, not with my, my, my community, so we're going to have to be patient with that. I'm gonna, it's going to be one of those things where I'm going to go over to Lethal Zone when I'm ready, but we will go there eventually. And uh, I, don't, like, I don't know, it's going to be crazy. Um, but if you want to see me get there right away, it's not going to happen. You know, If you guys want to see Lethal Zone gameplay, um, I mean, I'm sure a lot of other people are going to be streaming that, but... Um, I'm working my way up to it, unfortunately. You know, I'd like to say, oh yeah, let's go right to the lethal zone, but now nah, I'm still getting used to the nightmare zone a bit. So. Let's get going. I said eventually we will. I can't give you a date or an estimated time on when I'll get there. It's just one of those things where I feel like if I'm ready, I'm ready and I'll go. For now, we'll try and get some stuff from the Stay Frosty pack. In this 200th episode, um, let's see what other bounties we have going on. Maybe we can switch one of those out. I'm not sure. As you guys know, if you watched last episode, you'll know the loss that we had. I mean, we just lost somebody. Poor Bethany. Her stubbornness and her gung-ho approach to everything finally got her killed. And then we went back and killed that um, that evil enclave that, that you know, had a big hand in her dying. So Juma took care of that right away. So rip Bethany. We're not going to replace you know that number yet. New missions. Jump starters. Rookie mistake. Um, Alright, well, let's take a look at bounties. I mean, I've got four or five screamers killed with rifles. If I can kill one more screamer, I can pick up a new bounty and go collect one. So why don't we just try and do that right away? Oh, there's infestations over there. So, I gotta make sure I'm, I got a rifle on me. What is this? Independence pack. What is all that? Why is it telling me to go there? Vehicle delivery sniper support? I don't know why it's doing that. Anyways, let's get a rifle out for Juma. We got the holiday sweater. I was hoping for some more kind of holiday or wintery clothing, but we do have that camo suit that maybe we can try and get. Find a rifle first. Uh -huh. So we got plenty of crossbows here. 
which is nice. I really like these. I could probably get rid of some of these classic uh, crossbows, to be honest. Because uh, we, I like the hunting ones really more than anything. That's what I'll. That's what I'll do. I will salvage one of those classic crop crossbows to get some parts in. And here's a rifle. It takes 22 caliber. That's all we need. Alright, let's just go. We're just gonna go find a screamer, kill it with a rifle. First screamer I see. I think there's there's oh there's some right out here. Perfect. Darn it. Oh, here comes a feral. Where is he? Imagine it's all gonna be plague. It's all gonna be plague ferals in the lethal zone. Imagine that. You could die in an instant. Shoot, I'm getting whooped here. I need to get this feral off my back. There we go. Screamers are probably already dead, which is annoying. Oh no, they're not. What the? Is that a... It's a plague screamer. What the heck? I'm not in the lethal zone, am I? Darn it. Alright, if I can get a revolver. I don't have time. I don't never have time to get weapons out of there. Being attacked. So I could kill some of these with a revolver, but don't have time to do that. Right, he's down. I haven't think I've seen a plague, uh, a plague screamer in the Nightmare Zone yet. I think just because they just added them to the main game, so they're gonna show up in Nightmare Zone now. That's probably what it is. They're gonna show up. Look, there's plague bloaters now. Like they're just saying, "Oh, here we are." Now you gotta deal with us. Dang. Okay, so this just got a lot harder for everybody. Nightmare Zone, did These new plague freaks in here. Let me heal him up. Gosh darn it. Let's see if I need to plant anything. Our, our home status is just stable right now. We need to get... It wants us to clear infestations here, but... Is the game doing that thing again where it's like running like... Slow or skipping? It seems like it's slowing down a bit here at home base. Like we had that problem a while ago. Maybe with the update, it needs to be smoothed out more. That's just what it looks like. Right, let's go collect. Our... Actually, I want to make more toolkits. That's a, that's the thing I really need to start making more of right now. Is toolkits. Making more and more of those because we were running so low on those. Because most of our vehicles are pretty shot here. Let's see if there's any plague samples left behind. I don't see any. We're just going to take the wizard van over to the bounty broker. So that, I mean, that's crazy that those... Yeah, you can see lethal zones there. But uh, as you guys can see, if you're still playing in a nightmare zone like me, those plague bloaters and everything will still show up here. Probably not as frequently. See, that? look at that slowdown there. That is... The game's really... Um, 
sometimes with updates, you know, it, they need to patch a few things that they didn't patch, so maybe they'll do a new patch, hopefully soon, to smooth this out. Because we haven't had these kind of like slowdown problems in a while. And it usually happens after like an update of some sort. So the game is kind of missing some frame right here. Alright, so we have earned this scoped Big Hank rifle. Now here's the Stay Frosty freak. Get away, I just want to look at the new bounties. This one. Boonie Hat, Winter Camo. Kill two freaks while crouched. Okay. That shouldn't be too bad. What's this one? Kill 30 zombies with fire for the tactical uniform. I'm going to take that one first. I'm going after these clothes, and I definitely want this maintenance bench. Craft 180 crossbow bolts. Crap. Oh, man. What is this thing? This is another thing. This crossbow here. I want the Midnight Solstice. Kill 25 zombies with crossbows. Okay, some of these, the ones I really want are ones I think I can do. I mean, like Plague Heart ones even doable. So, uh, we'll take this one for now. So, if we're gonna kill freaks while crouched, I guess we could still shoot them, technically, right? So... As long as we're crouched. Yeah. Oh man, the lethal zone is going to be lethal, I'm sure. Like, we need to be... I mean, we're using up a lot of things here in the nightmare zone, let alone what we might need in the lethal zone. Alright, let me see if I can kill him while crouched. Get down. There we go. There's one to two. If I can find another like screamer and bloater around, that'd be great. Juma, the moves. Juma's probably dying for another kitchen too, because he is a chef. But he's a bit of a sheriff. He's a a sheriff chef. That's what he is. Oh, it might be time to go. I just want one more. Bloater or Screamer would be great. Come on. So we need to save some parts to maybe craft crossbows too. We're going to need more and more parts. Yeah, there's a lot of things I really actually want from this pack. And a lot of those bounties look like they're doable for me. So we have this new gun. Let's actually put that on. So this is the new gun that we have. That rifle right there. Let's get out in the light here. You guys can see that. So you can see there. It's got a bit of a scope on there. So you can really get in. This is a really cool rifle here. Could be Juma's main. We don't know. Grab a toolkit and just uh, fix up this van a bit. Poor old wizard van. Man, the wizard van. Been through some times with this one, huh? How long? I don't even remember when we got this thing. It was a long, long time ago. We got this wizard van. We got this great car here from the plunder pack or whatever. I love this car. We need to fix this one up too. We'll get one of these advanced, advanced tool kits for this one. Because this one's really banged up. There we go. It's 
still banged up even with that, but you know, I'm gonna get some gas cans for that. Yeah, the game's slowing down a bit. There's something weird with the update. Mm -mm 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 -mm. We have Mad Norma. We did call in. I thought we had another car though. We got like one of the. Yeah, there it is. It's the Pyro Hawk. I was like, I know we called in one of those Independence Pack cars. Let's just get this over. Closer to home here. Mission expired. Survival. Well, I'm sorry, we're trying to do our own things there. Alright, let me see if I can get one more freak while crouched, then we can just finish up. Oh, right here. Perfect. No, stop dodging. There we go. Okay. That bounty's done too. <laughs> Easy one. We can go pick up another one. I already have something from the Stay Frosty pack. Sun is setting here in day 165, episode 200. 200 episodes. Goodness me, guys. There we go. Boonie hat. Okay, now we need the rest of it. Kill 30 zombies with fire. Um, get the rest of that uniform there. I don't want to go grab some fire stuff and get that going. Maybe we could go to um, one of those infestations and just bring a bunch of like, just bring a bunch of fire. State of deplore. <laughs> What's up? You're yourself always. Good to see you again. I feel like I'm getting a little better driving finally in this game, but <laughs> fine. I still suck at it. It's kind of like a meme at this point, my driving in this game, but whatever. Okay. Alright, is, is that a screamer walking around? Yeah, it is. Oh, there's a couple screamers walking around. Darn it! Leg screamers. Is that all we're gonna get now? Shoot. Feral, feral, feral! Oh, I couldn't see him. Alright, it's getting dark, getting dark here. Did I get him? Oh, I did get him. With this new rifle here. Nice. You're gonna see a lot of that kind of bloater mess. I'm doing pretty good as well. That's good to hear. Uh, those guys, the, the Plague Screamers, yeah, they're uh, they're tough. They were only in the Heartland DLC before, but now they've added them to the main game. So, um, as of today, I believe. Shoot! They're more dangerous. Could kill you a lot quicker, so... Uh, yeah, it just makes everything harder, basically. They're the same thing as the Screamers, they're just, they contract the Plague Virus and they're more dangerous. Right, we gotta check him in. So, let's get over to... Let's unload that, put that in. Check him in. Alright, we'll take control. Who's gonna wear that new outfit? How about, um... 
Who's gonna wear that tactical uniform? That's what I'm trying to pick here. Who's gonna wear it? Maybe bear. Is that like a bear thing, maybe? Yeah, I can do bear. Ah, oh, no problem. Thank you for stopping by. Appreciate that. Enjoy your, uh, the rest of your day or night, whatever time it is for you. Um, as always, you know, all these videos go up to YouTube if you want to watch them later on. Good to see. I'm myself always, as we all should be, guys, as I say. We all should always be ourselves always, right? <laughs> Bears himself always. Look at it's just you know he's bare. So, all right, let's get him that new hat. Let's see what this is. boonie hat. Oh yeah, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> wearing it, wearing it proud. Now we got to get him the rest of the uniform. That's totally bare right there, isn't it? All right, we need we need tons of fire. Maybe we won't go after. Oh, we need. Really should go after an infestation, huh? There's a wandering trader. Which maybe we can go there. Before we head over to our outpost and um, maybe head to one of these infestations with some fire. This is going to be a dangerous mission for Bear, but I think that he can do it. Um, I'm gonna bring stuff to trade if I have anything. Um, <laughs> uh, flavored condoms are staying. Good time, boys. Poster, big sticking. We know we're not getting rid of. Uh, do I have any duplicates of stuff? A few water coolers. I'll trade one of those. I'll trade one of these bike generators. That's a lot to carry around. Uh, having like. A Different facility mods is nice. Maybe I'll trade one of these. Um, classic crossbows. I'm gonna unload that and then just salvage that for more parts too, because we're gonna need parts. I'm gonna check and see if I have weapon remains to create more parts with too, real quick. See, that's a new on the map, like or on the main screen there. It's showing the icon. Other person right there. That's definitely new. They've worked on a little bit of that, as we can see. I think the missions popping up like they are is new too. That's pretty cool. So let's get over to the trader. We'll bring a vehicle that has a decent amount of space to it. And we could bring the wizard van since it has some gas. Fixed up. We'll bring a. Well, actually, we're going to be going near an outpost. If we need a toolkit or gas, we can always grab it there. That's where I'm going to grab all the supplies for the uh, for the infestation. So here we go. We're off to see the trader, the wonderful trader of Oz. Areas. Okay. Oh shoot, I'm gonna run over some of these freaks real quick. No, don't fire your weapon! Gosh darn it. Now, now they're all gonna come. Now I'm never gonna be able to trade anything. Calm down with the firing of the weapon right there. Uh. Get off of him! Look at he's already close to getting the plague virus now. Big one thing about Bear, he has got terrible stamina, this guy. Gosh darn it! Can't even like move. Okay, thank goodness they. 
Now I need to like heal. This is annoying. Bear's got terrible. He's got like terrible stamina, terrible health, and yet Bear like survives everything. I got some stuff to trade. What do they have? Ooh, ammo. Fuel. I want all of that. Please. I will take frag grenades. I will take I will definitely take another one of these swords and axes that are so nice. Selena Gomez is here too. Look at Gomez. That looks like it could be Selena Gomez too. Maybe she's still alive here. Let me trade them the, st the stuff I wanted to get rid of. I got some stuff to trade. Sure. Make some of that bank back. We only have 828 influence, that's crazy. So we really shouldn't, but I'm gonna get some fuel. I really want all those rucksacks, to be honest. And ammo doesn't, that's one that we've been, we're struggling to get before and. Okay, there's Putnam. All right, we're gonna, this is the lowest we've been on influence in, gosh, I don't know how long. We have not a lot of influence here. All right, next up now, we're going to get to our outpost over there. Up the road. supplies we're probably gonna heal him we might even swap him out actually because he's got a bit of the plague so we're gonna have to like check him in or something or at least swap him out and bring somebody else over there to do this infestation which is what we'll do trying to get this morale back up gonna be nothing but plague screamers now watch now that they're in the game that's what they're gonna give us even in the nightmare zone all right so a little bit of a solace here uh, all that good we got some grenades we got some melee weapons that's nice always good to have like more grenades and stuff our materials are low. I mean, ammo and fuel is good, but you know we don't see that out in the wild too much from traders. So I'm gonna stock up on that. Uh, all right, let's let's swap them out. Taking show. Who's gonna go try this out, huh? Nobody wants to go do this. Uh, I hate risking anybody's life now. No Bethany. She won't be driving home for Christmas. Benet the pirate. Haven't used her in a little bit. Um, can't send Felicia yet. Juma just resting up. Maybe Umo. Or Clint. Let's do Clint. Come on. He's got to be all business here. Alright, we're going to get rid of that because we need to bring a different weapon. Something that holds 762s. Might even have to sort some of that air ammo that we have in our stack, our stash, I mean, so we can um, 
gain more ammo, more more shells of certain things. Cause we're gonna we're starting to run out of ammo here. Although I could unload some weapons here. Let me see what I got. I do want to take one of these hunting crossbows as well. Everything else, let's start unloading weapons so we can kind of see like what we have. It's always good to do this that way. It's kind of like finding more ammo, you know. So I always believe there's no sense in having weapons sitting in there with ammo in them. If you're not using them. Unload them all. Get it into your inventory. And look, there's a lot of stuff here. A lot of ammo left in some of these. Every little bit helps. Okay. So we need some more 762 guys. Um, I might stream something else later today. It is December 2nd as of this. I might actually upload this on the 2nd on YouTube since the update just happened today. Um, I did pick up, uh, let me show you guys. I just got this in the mail because I got it for Black Friday sale off, offline. Um, Star Wars Squadrons for Xbox One. Really excited to try this out. Um, looks like it'd be really fun. I remember playing the old one on N64, Rogue Rogue Squadron on there. Now, I'm not going to be very good at this game because I'm never good at flying games, but I still enjoy them a lot. So, And it's Star Wars, you know. It was so cheap. Really excited to have that. I might start that tonight. I don't know. I've got like, you know, it could be more Breath of the Wild or something. We shall see. Because um, i got a lot of work coming up this weekend. I might not be able to stream as much. Um, obviously working more hours. Is Baby Yoda in it, says Dev. No, I don't think so anyways. Good thing. <laughs> you want Baby Yoda, huh? I really don't know what characters or anything are in this. I've tried to stay away from gameplay videos and stuff until I actually tried it myself. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure what characters. Uh, I, uh, we're going to play the campaign and see how that is. Um... Or I might try something else tonight. I don't know. I could just end up playing more Breath of the Wild. Honestly. Alright, standard bolts. Alright, we're gonna need, we need lots of fire for this one. So once we load up these weapons. Now we need... Oh, we also need stuff to heal with. Just in case. We can always retreat back here. You know, there we go. And now we need Molotovs, Napalm Grenade, Fire Bombs. I'll take even more Molotovs actually. Let me see if I can craft any at the base right now. I can craft Molotovs. Nine Molotovs for four fuel rucksacks and 45 parts. I mean, I guess I'll do that. So we can take even more Molotovs. And we gotta burn 30 zombies here, so... And we're gonna be going over to... Hmm. Uh, which one do I go to? This one might be better to go to, to be honest, even though it's next to a plague heart. There'll be more move, room to move around. There might be a, like a ladder or something where we can climb up in the barn if we need to get away. And there's potential resources there, so. Not too far from here either. What is this zombie doing in my base? Get out of here. Oof. This is a cool weapon, but I want something with a more of a, with a blade on it. Always a chance we could dismember. That's the war hammer, but mission expired. That's fine. All right, we'll take one of these swords. What do we got for swords? I know I, I love my swords, guys. We'll take one of the extermination blades. There we go. Do 
I take the van over or do I just go on foot? I gotta take the van over because if we need to get away. Alright, Clint, here you go, man. Alright, we're gonna get sniper support ready. Shoot, there's like plague zombies and a feral near, of course. Gonna follow us all the way over there, I'm sure. More ferals, come on! Oh, well, we might not be doing this right now if there's gonna be so many ferals out and about. Shoot. Alright, quiet, quiet, quiet. I feel like every zombie around here knows I'm here. Like every single one. Shoot. Oh my gosh. Well, maybe I can start killing these guys with fire. Get off me. I throw this into this pack over here. Oh, let me get him. Go, go, go. There we go. Burn everyone. Almost a third of the way, ten of thirty. Nice. It's a third of it. Gosh darn it. Clint is all business all the time. Here comes another horde. What did I just do? Oh, I ate another snack by accident. Oh, look at this loader mess all over my van. Now I can't even drive that if I had to. Try and get them to run into it. We almost have the bounty. Twenty-three. Where are they all coming from? The Plague Heart? Like, this is crazy. There's like, they're everywhere. They're all Plague ones, too. No, no, no! Uh, darn it! Hold on, let me get one of these out. No, oh, I missed them all. Come on, run into it, run into it. Yes, yes! There we go, we got it. Oh, I still need these to survive here. This is a pretty dangerous one. I don't have any more snacks left. Place like home for the holidays. Nothing like burning some zombies. Clint. Nice job there. We did it. That was tough. Okay, we didn't even do the plague art yet. I mean, the uh, infestation. We will try to do that. I guess. We have to be very careful about this, though. There's still another horde of them coming. Like, that's crazy. There's like 15 hordes of those. You're selling your old car? How much are you going to get for it? And it'll be good to get some extra cash in. This time of year, especially. I've been picking up more hours at work myself to get some extra cash. Like tomorrow, I'm going to be staying a few extra hours. 
I gotta pay rent tomorrow too. Oh my gosh, I gotta pay rent. There's 700 something dollars down the drain. <laughs> But before we know it, it's going to be tax season, you know, before we know it, so we'll be getting more money back from taxes. Hey, this infestation's gone. Oh, all those zombies came over. Awesome. Now we can loot this place. So we kind of took care of the infestation, too, while doing that. Um, there is more around that we could try to do. This is the 200th episode. Maybe we'll we will try and do some more bigger things. I'm going to think I'm going to swap him out though if we do that. Give him a rest. Parts is good. So now guys we have a goal of working our way to the lethal zone. Which is what we're going to be doing. Getting up more materials but you know, again we have to use a lot of stuff here. Box mine. That's a really good pickup. Door there. Lots of zombies. I'm hoping for some fuel, maybe a gas can. Even some parts would be nice. Somehow, legs dismembered with weapons is still at 32. I thought maybe we'd get at least one of those. But hey, we've... Done a few bounties here to get this winter camo for, uh, for bear. Bingo. Bar of travel size soap. I mean, that's a tradable item. Don't know what that's doing in there, but... There we go, gas can. Fuel rucksack would be perfect here. Another gas can, that's not bad. I mean, that's right. If you heard that not only the Xbox Series X is backwards compatible, it uploads, that updates the game's graphics. Oh, really? So it makes them just a little bit cleaner, like say, if I were to play State of K2 on the Series X, it might look like it's like PC clean graphics. That's really cool. I just figured they might run better, if anything. But it also updates the graphics a bit? That's insane. It probably smooths out a lot of this stuff for it, so it looks better, you know, runs better on there. That's impressive. Yeah, I mean, Microsoft has always had the most powerful uh, consoles. There's no doubt about it. I mean, PlayStation and Nintendo are still behind in that sense. Microsoft, you know, have like the strongest systems ever since the original Xbox. There's that's just common sense. But I didn't know they, they could do that. Yeah, maybe in tax season I'll be able to get a Series X or a PS5 or something. Um, if there's any available, of course, because we don't know. I'm not going to buy the Xbox from a scalper, I'll tell you that. My brother did. My brother got one for a little bit more, and he actually has it. So he has a Series X. My other brother... Managed to get a PS5, one of my other brothers too, my older brother, Jeff. Um, but he's not sure if he's keeping it yet or not. Because his friend kind of got a couple, or he like bought one or two, I think, and Jeff has one. We'll see. But yeah, my, my younger brother has a Series X. He says it's, it's great. He likes it a lot. I'm going to refuel this, actually. No, I'm kind of the middle child. <laughs> I have two older brothers and one younger brother.
Alright, now we're going to return to the outpost. Ferals all over the place. There we go. I like having this base right here because look, we can always climb up there if things get really bad. We'll wait it out with some sniper support. Great outpost to have. We got some goodies. And unload. Actually, we'll let him keep that weapon. I will just load it back in there. Because we're going to swap him out right now. Wish you had brothers only. Got one brother, five sisters, and you're the oldest. Oh, goodness. Five younger sisters. Dang. <laughs> yeah, I don't have any sisters. It's, you know, all, all brothers. And, uh, that's why, I mean, that I think that's part of the reason why I'm so into video games, because I grew up with brothers, so we all played, you know. All into games. All of us are into games and talking about them and just passionate about them. My oldest brother... He's, you know, he loves playing games. He's always talking about this game, that game. Um, he's, you know, he's really into a bunch of different titles, different systems. My younger brother plays mostly a lot of his games on the Steam, but he does play like Xbox a lot. One of my other older brothers uh, grew up playing a lot. He had Playstations and he played that and he played like, well, he used to play all the Zelda games on Nintendo and everything. So I'm kind of all over the place with gaming, but yeah, it's always nice to be to be into games. Uh, we're gonna swap him out uh, one more time. Man, I couldn't tell you how many times I've been memories I have playing games with my brothers. You know, just. You know, for hours we would play like certain games. I mean, one of my favorite gaming memories with one of my brothers was actually Dying Light. Um, when that first first around, when that first came out, we played co-op um, for for a while in my room. He had his own monitor set up in there and. He brought his Xbox in and we just we played it for a while and just had so much fun with it. It's a great game. Um, Alright, now we're going to go to this one. I'm going to grab a few supplies before I go over there. Because I want to try and get rid of one of these another one of these infestations to help morale stay up. Weapon. See a five fifty six. We don't have a lot of five fifty six rounds, but I'll take ten more. I'm gonna take, a, of course, a hunting crossbow as well. Um, so healing snack should be good for him. Pain meds. I'll take. Um, Maybe a road flare if I feel like using that to throw out, I will take. So now I kind of want to save a lot of my dynamite for the freaking lethal zone now. So I want to build up. I'm going to try not, and use, not to use as much of this special stuff. You know, I used a few of these firebomb things or whatever, or one of those. Back your uncle day, there was no video games. All he did was work, play outside, do stupid stuff, or fight their friends. <laughs> fight their friends. 
Uh, no, I played a, I played outside a lot when I was younger, of course. Um, growing up, I played a ton of sports with my friends outside. That's why I was always athletic. Um, soccer, basketball, a little bit of football. Mostly basketball and soccer, though. Some handball, a little bit of roller. Um, no, not roller hockey. What do you call it? You know, street hockey, I guess you could say. Just, you know, pretty much anything. Um, yeah, I guess, you know, I guess we're good with that. Let's go there. Yeah, I definitely spent a ton of time outside. Like, I would be outside as much as possible. As much as my friends and my brothers and I played games. I mean, I was outside more than my brothers were, for sure. Because I'm way more into sports than them. Um, so I, uh, I would be outside playing sports with my friends. They would too, but, you know, not as much. People don't, I mean, I always say this, people don't really see me as like a sports fan. They don't, they kind of find that a bit surprising, but I, I really am. Shoot, this is like a tough area to drive in, huh? Got to get up here. Find a road somewhere. There we go. All right, we got to park here. Shoot. Oh, he cuts off their limbs when he charges them. Watch this. Oh, nice. Yep, that's 34 now. So all I gotta do is charge him with him. Then an axe and he can slice him up. Dang, Umo is awesome with this thing. Oh man, that's that's bad. That's bad. That's really bad. I know I never stole a car or anything like that, but that is blaming on somebody else. <laughs> I would never Just pull up just a little bit here. Oh, come on. I wish this lady would stop talking. They annoy me when they just come on the radio at any time and start talking. I'm like, get out of my face. I'm on a mission here. That infestation disappeared too. They like, I think the plague ones get pulled out of the area and we just kill them. And it clears the infestation, so now there's... Now we're cheerful. But while we're here, we might as well search the area for some stuff. Wait, there's like a bag over here. Uh, decent bourbon. I wish there was a trader around here too. There is not. Bag of gumdrops. Just a tradable thing. What are we in? Willy Wonka's chocolate factory or something? Bag of snacks. Nah. Uh, bandage. I mean, we'll just use that real quick just to no heal him up 100%. Carpenter's hatchet. I mean, that's alright, but this isn't stuff I really, really need right now. I mean, if I had the space, I would take everything, but I, I just don't. Well, there's a lot of zombies in here. So 
we gotta be Umo, we can chop off limbs with him. We know that for guarantee. So anytime we're him, we gotta make sure we charge some zombies and chop off some some legs. I'm good right now, Deserted Colt, but thank you so much. Um, yeah, pretty good. Right now, we're just we're just I'm just kind of collecting stuff right now, and working on some bounties. How um, how long have you been? How long is your community going in your, in your game? I don't think I've seen you here before. I'll take the seeds. We will definitely take the seeds. Um, right, let's go back to where over here and check this little area. And I'm tempted to just drop the road flare because I don't. It's not that important to keep that. Boom! There's another leg dismembered. Okay, we definitely want to keep everything that's in there. Um, let me just throw the flare. Well, I'm gonna throw something I'm gonna actually keep in there, so I'll throw the throw that in there for now. We're going to the Holly Jolly the Jolly Collie Tavern. It's a place we wanna be. Here we are. The good old Jolly Collie Tavern. Can't beat these. Food. Again, that's not very vital for us. I'm going to hold out for something else. A different kind of rucksack, maybe. Materials would be superb. Although, if I can maybe make an outpost here, if I have an extra area, an extra slot to make an outpost. Sounds like we're alone. Maybe I will. And then I can just start looting all this stuff and just putting it in there. Um, let me see what we have for outposts right now. If there's one I can drop. I don't think there is. There are two ammo outposts, though. I could probably drop one of those for now. But I think I could just get it again because I have a lot of ammo now. Um, let me just see where they are. Outpost 4 and outpost 6. Where are they? Well, actually, there's one close by. I could run some stuff over there. The other one's going to be over here. Different area of the map there. Mm. You know what? Never mind. I don't want to move that. I mean, it's right there. How far of a walk would that be? It's not that far of a walk. I could run stuff over there. Look at him. Boom, give me some influence. We're about to lose some ammo too if we don't return to base soon, but that, that's okay. We get plenty. Celebrity gossip magazine. Okay, we good. So much ethanol around. Box of tampons. Oh, thank you for the follow, Deserted Colt. I appreciate that. Here on Twitch. Thank you, thank you. It's very nice of you. Mm, I mean, I'm going to be heading over to 
the outpost to probably drop off a few things. So maybe we'll come back for, I don't know. Just want to see like what's here. There's not a ton here. It's really speaking too much to me. Uh, that's definitely good. Take the gas can. Uh, snacks again, just no. Rusty flask of bathtub gin. <laughs> Just like great grandpa used to drink. Let's get that. We have to get that. If anything, we can trade it. Bath. What is bathtub gin? Do they make it in their bathtub? Bottle of decent gin now and a road flare. A couple more road flares are hanging around. This is that really great downtown area that I like. Let's go into Leafy Acres Garden Supply. Maybe there'll be a rucksack of materials in here. So I'm hoping for it. Anyway. <sighs> uh, more seeds we will definitely take. Yes. 40 legs dismembered now. Thanks to Umo here, getting us some numbers in that one. More seeds, food, uh, man, I just don't, don't fancy right now. I'm looking for materials or fuel rucksacks, anything but food or, or um, Call it like uh, med meds, really. I know there's stuff there, but there's a lot to loot here. We could come back here eventually if we want any of this stuff, but if we're desperate for food. We know where where to come. There's a few here. Parts, which I will take. Umo. I love this skeleton hoodie. It's really great. Umo's loving it too. More parts. Always good. Come on, rucksack of materials. Come on. It's locked. Way too loud. Deface store. Do they even know what it was? More parts. Tons of parts. Let's see if we can combine anything into our... So there's like no zombies around here. As soon as the sun rises here. Beautiful day, isn't it? I hope there is more weather effects in the next game. Because it'll make the beautiful days that more beautiful when you have like rain and snow or something. Shoot, we really don't have room for anything else, huh? Sack. Materials, please. Ooh, a Molotov. Which we can take because we have room. Gardening textbook. Mission expired. I know all these missions are expiring because I'm just not. Focusing on them right now. Don't want any of that. Just what I need. Lots of snacks around. Peddler's barbecue is not going to have materials, so. Well, I guess I'll grab one of those food rucksacks, I suppose. Mine as well. Is there one? There was one in here, I think. Yeah. And now we're going to head home, because, I mean, 
there's still more infestations, but. Get some of this stuff back. Here we go. And collect our bounty too. We can go do that. Let me crush him for a little influence. Whoa. Whoa. that in there, put that in, restore the ammo, put the food right there, transfer a lot of stuff to the base, there we go, nice, We made it home before we lost the ammo, so they're going to be coming. I'm going to grab a revolver just in case some armored Zeds do show up. Maybe I can kill a few of them. Revolver. And we need 22s for that. So there we go. Hopefully some will show up. We can knock off their helmets and then... Right, here we go. We can chop off a few more legs here. Like that. Take a plague sample. When we get to the lethal zone eventually guys, I think we're gonna have to start carrying like two play cures on every everyone at all times. <laughs> Honestly. Might be at the point where we get it. Heal ourselves and we might get it like again soon after. Yeah, he's got that leg sweeping move, so that's exactly what we need for that. Bounty. So we know we can do that one eventually. Yo, great work, everyone. Oh, we already did it. It's already done. Go collect our bounty. Influence is up to 824 again. Uh, what I want to do is maybe buy some more dynamite or something when we're, while we're down there. Getting our winter, winter camo. So we're going to get the winter camo. I didn't think we were going to get that this quickly. So I didn't know what it would take to, to get that. But some plague samples right here. Oh, come on. Well, that's good. Let's stay frosty pack. We already have our wood stove burning in the base. I'm thinking, guys, we might try and move to a new base maybe towards the end of December, maybe by, you know, January or something. Just for a change for the new year. And all that um, 
Go to that other base that I saw by the camp. By the lake or whatever. No. Stay in this base for a little bit longer and grow more food and stuff and be good. With all that. Sweep a few legs. Give me that, yes. Alright, now we want the, um... Kill five hordes. Oh, we could have done that one this episode for the Samurai SMG. Because we killed a lot of hordes in this episode, I think. What I want... The maintenance bench. Craft 180 crossbow bolts. Prevents durability loss for a time. And that's pretty cool. I don't know how much I'll use that, but... Hmm. What about this crossbow? I want this Midnight Solstice crossbow. That's what I really want. And then I might go after this this bounty, but... Yeah, I want that. I want that crossbow. I love me some good crossbows here. The Yukon Pathbreaker would be kind of cool, too. That's only Wind Feral with the blade. It's pretty easy, but... I wish you the best of luck on this. There we go. Oh. oh. And I want to get some more dynamite. Happy to oblige. A couple more things of dynamite. Get in there. Is there any other weapons I want to stock up on? I think I'm good. Go in peace, my friend. There we go. Oh, did I just hit him? Or did he just mess up my car? I think the bounty broker just messed up my car. <laughs> I thought I sent him flying. But he probably dented my car. Twenty-five zombies with crossbows. That's not a lot. We could actually do that right now too. I just gotta grab a crossbow. I might. I'm probably actually gonna do that right now. Might as well. Oh, we aren't like pulled forward enough to transfer to the base. We can just go on foot and just hunt them. There, my goodness. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's unload that and just put that away. Let's grab him. Crossbow. Few things to heal just in case. One of the hunting crossbows, which will be good to get, and then a bunch of standard bolts. Cause I really want this new crossbow, the winter solstice one. Let's see what it is. All right. So we just need to get some good headshots in, really, with this. Start right here. That one needs a oh, that one's not dead. What? Come on. Now you're dead. Oh, no, you're not. You're still alive. Just darn it. And now you're dead. Ooh, 
Ooh, nice shot there. Oh, that went all the way through to like the windows over there. That's crazy. <laughs> Hoping I can re recover some of these arrows. I think she's alive. Yeah, she was. Boom. This hunting crossbow is like one of my favorite weapons in the game. I think. It's a lot of good. There's so many good weapons in this. Melee and crossbows and rifles and different kinds of shotguns and stuff. So many, so many weapons. It's fantastic. I'm like still intrigued to go back and try the first game again because like it's been so long since I even tried that one. See like how much worse it is compared to this one. Because like I said, I've played the first one a little bit. Like I didn't, I put like some time into it, not much. You know, I, I played it. I liked it. But I wasn't really like, I didn't fully like you know, get into it like I did this one, or try and learn as much as I could about it. Oh, I dismembered his leg. That's something. I just need 15 more. Go. Neither of them there. We got our guts hanging out there. That's funny. Twelve more. How many crossbow bolts do I have left? Ooh, I have twenty, like twenty something, twenty-two. You probably do this. Oh, there's a screamer. Let's get that. Influence. Loader. Darn, I think I missed one. There we go. 17, just eight more. Let's go back this way and see what's over here. It's another bloater sleeping over there. That's an easy kill. Gotcha. On the rock, this is gonna be a tough shot. Darn it, knocked him down. Oh, those are too tough. I don't want to waste more arrows there. range on this freaking thing. Five more. Four more. I got this. I'm gonna go get a new crossbow. From the Stay Frost. Third bounty in the, in the Stay Frosty pack in this episode. Very good. More to come later on. I'm sure we'll go after that. Some more other ones. Yeah, we're gonna need to craft more bolts after this too, using up a lot of bolts. But we're gonna need parts. That's the thing. We're gonna need parts. One more. Who's gonna be lucky number twenty-five? You over here. How about this? How about one of these screamers over here? 
Oh, I didn't kill him. Whatever. You. Boom. And here comes a. F oh, shoot. Three ferals. Let's get out of there. Are they coming after me? Come on. Get your weapon out. Oh, what's up with this zombie? I mean, I could sit here and kill, like, <laughs> a bunch more zombies with this axe with the leg sweeping and get that too, but I don't know, that would take a while. And that's literally like 52 more zombies, so we'll gradually work on that. we got a good chunk of it going in this episode, though. So I feel like it's like nine o'clock at night, <laughs> even though it's still light out. I feel, still feel like it's for some reason. I feel like it's much later than it is. How is it only 4:30? I worked this morning too, and I just feel like it shouldn't be this early still. Maybe I'll start loading in squadrons after this. I think it may there's something I could stream while Squadrons loads, but I'd have to stream on like PS2 or Switch or something. I could do Breath of the Wild. Let's get a few more leg sweeps here. Cut off all their legs. There we go. Six legs dismembered now. Okay. Hello, my friend. Give me that crossbow, thank you very much. The Yukon Pathbreaker is kill one feral with a blade. We'll take that one too. Like this? Is this this would be considered a bladed weapon, I would hope. Heck, I might even seek out this. There's armored Zeds over here. Hmm, you know what I'm thinking, guys. You know what I'm thinking. Cut off as many legs as I can here. There we go. <laughs> now they're all going to be crawling after me. Darn it. Oh my gosh, this lady will not leave me alone. Oh great, I can't tell which ones are the armored ones anymore. Okay. Just gonna knock off their helmets here. Look at them crawling after me. Uh Okay, there we go. I'll take a few hits here. To... There's another one. Hey, nobody invited you, buddy. Nobody invited you. Oh, he died? Darn it. I was just trying to knock off his helmet. Well, we got one more. Right, let's get back. If I can find one feral, that'd be great. Then I could just attack him with this and be okay. 
We'll finish yet another bounty, maybe. Umo, Umo is so good. Like he's probably definitely he's probably our best character in terms of like how skilled he is and efficient. Like if anybody were gonna win in a fight one on one, it would be Umo. Probably. And last the longest because he's got the stamina to boot. Here's the new crossbow, Midnight Solstice. It has not the best range, but. Let's take a look at it. Oh, look at that. It's a blue. It's like a purplish blue. There it is. It's got like a scope a bit on there. Pretty cool. I can't keep ignoring these infestations. I need a feral. That's what I need. Actually, one a feral here. Try and kill him. Just one, though, not three. Just one little feral. There's always one crawling around somewhere. Watch, I won't be able to find one. The moment I need one is when they're not going to be around. Oh, there's three. Maybe I go. Shoot, I can't do this right now. Unless they can kill one of them. Alright, there's one. Did they kill the other one? Darn it. I was gonna try and dwindle them. Okay, there's one still over here. Alright, hopefully. I'm gonna try and lead him away from my base so I can. Come on, come on, come on. No. Uh, uh, this other zombie is going to be a pain. Heal, heal, heal. What I did, did I just take a... Plague virus thing by accident? Plague cure? I think I did. Darn it. Of course, this thing's gonna break. There we go. I think I accidentally took a plague cure. <laughs> I did. Oh, I definitely did. How? How did I accidentally use one amongst all that? It takes like a while for them to inject it into themselves. Oh, that's so dumb. I just wasted one, but I think we got plenty of meds. Pair this. That's a good weapon there. It lasts a bit too. Uh, make that. Yeah, we definitely need materials. I'll just keep that one. Can't believe I just wasted one by accident there. Right, let's put some food in if we have food. If we have food in here, right? Yeah. Put the ammo in. Oh shoot. And now we take another trip to the bounty broker yet again. Is that Rooney's body? I think that was Rooney's body that was laying there. Right? Guys, Cyberpunk comes out on the 10th. Hoo -hoo. I am debating to get that right away or waiting. I don't know. I really want to play that game though. 
because I know it's going to be so much time into that game, though. Between that and Breath of the Wild and this, I won't have time to play any other games with work going on. But I really want to play that. I'm sure one of these bounties is right for you. Boom. Take care. Okay, let's pick up another one from this. Kill 15 zombies with rifles. Kill 5 hordes. Kill 1 plague heart with a shotgun. Juggernauts with assault weapons. And I want to do this one, but like... We don't, I'm not going to have the parts for that. Let's just do this one. This could possibly be done by... Be easy, by the base. Let's get back now. Let me know if you guys are getting cyberpunk too in the comments if anybody hears this in the video cares to say so. I'd love to hear about who's going to be getting that game or what games are you guys even looking forward to in general. I mean, I, I really want a PS5 because like there's some good looking exclusives on there. Just something different, you know. I'd like to get it, you know. So I haven't bought a PlayStation system since I bought like a used PS2 back in like 2007 or something whenever I got my PS2. Everything else has just been, you know, Xbox and Nintendo stuff, so. I really need to delve back into, because I, I like PlayStation a lot. I'm not like pro Xbox or pro Nintendo or pro, pro PlayStation or, as now I like them all. Um, I wish Sega would make a new system, like another Dreamcast system. Or something. Imagine if Sega, Sega made a new system. It'd be so awesome. So you have the Yukon Pathbreaker here. Let's take a look what this thing is. Ooh, it's blue. It says, "Go on now, get. Go on now, get. Go on now, get." Um, he likes these axes, so let's go with these. All right, let's check him. Oh, we don't need to check him in. We just need him to rest, so we will put away. Let me keep all that. This station over there. Ah, oh, there's Bethany's deceased body too. We might need to go get her gear too, eventually. Well, I think that's going to do it for this episode, everyone. Uh, Shoutouts to Dev. Deserted Colt. I, myself, always. Paprika Man, everybody, for coming in here on Twitch. Everybody watching on YouTube, thank you so much. The support, unbelievable. 200 episodes, guys. And counting. So, um, good to get a head start on a lot of these bounties. We finished, like, what, four of the Stay Frosty Pack bounties already? So, I mean, we did really good here. Um, speaking of, let's put this rest of his thing on there. Obviously, there's other colors, as we can see. So we could probably find those. <laughs> there's Bear. <laughs> now he looks... He's ready. Uh, does anybody need to be checked in? Bears go check him in. Alright. So again, thank you for the support, everyone. Um, I hope you do join me for the next episode. Episode 201. We'll be continuing probably the leg dismemberment one or, you know, whatever. Some of these bounties, I'm sure. And then uh, continuing to loot stuff and just do what we're doing, basically. To get ready for the lethal zone in the long run. Uh, we're aiming towards that. Hopefully nobody else dies. You know, we're still missing Bethany, of course. Rip Bethany. Rip Rooney, our two latest right losses. But I think we're going to stick with these characters for a bit before we bring somebody else in. Uh, materials might be something we go after soon as well. 
let me just take a look at the at this real quick so take care of yourselves we'll see y'all in the next part and uh, till next time everyone zero is the number